So if you're listening to this video, you are interested in embedding a video into touch chat word power. This is really great for your Gestalt language processors um, because you can embed the exact Gestalt either from a song or from a video or from a show if you can find it and um, use screen record. Uh, the cool thing about screen record is that unlike YouTube or specific websites, um, you can record the portion of the video you like, so it doesn't have to play the entire video itself, but just the gestalt, and you can save that to your library, and so if the child doesn't have Wi-Fi or if the video is ever taken down, you don't have to worry about um, that button not working anymore or that video not popping up for their, uh, for their language use. And so because I am screen recording for this video, I have already recorded my screen for the apples and bananas song, um, but I'll show you how to do it. And then I'll show you how to edit and embed it into your touch chat word power app and where I would do it. So I had a student that really, really loved apples and bananas, and that is how they communicated um, that they wanted to eat. And so what I want to do for them is embed just the phrase, um, that phrase from the song. I want to eat apples and bananas um, into a button. And so what I'm going to do first is figure out whether I have that little red dot you'll see right next to the battery um, that shows that I'm screen recording. So in the top right hand corner um, near the battery, if you touch your finger to the battery area and quickly scroll or push your finger down, you'll see that this, this little area pops up and you'll see that I have that little red dot recording right now and that's the screen record button. Some of you might not have that, so to get that button, what you would do is you would go to settings and you would scroll down a little bit right under general's control center. And you'll see right now I have the screen recording button added to my controls. But if you don't have it in your controls, say I don't have it and I only have these things, you can go to more controls and there are so many options. And so if you scroll down, it's in um, alphabetical order. So screen recording, it, there's a little plus button. You can add it and now it is on your um, little control center. And so when you leave the general settings and you click, put your finger down on the battery and quickly push your finger, oh, see that was too slow, and bring your finger down close to the battery, the control center, and you'll see that the little button, um, record button is working. So when you want to record something, you go to the video itself and you're going to play, I usually go into full screen, and you're going to um, go to the control center, to, so touch the battery and push down, and you're going to press the record button. You see right now I'm recording, so I can't do that, but if I wasn't recording, I would press that and I would press play on the video and I would have it play the part that I want. So you want to make sure that it plays through the entire phrase that you like. So let's say they like a different phrase later in the song. You can skip to that phrase or you can let it play throughout the whole thing because you can edit it later. So let's say I just finished recording. You bring that control center back down. You press that um, red record button and it's going to stop the recording, um, meaning that it's going to like whatever part of the song that you recorded, that's going to be the, the part that saves to your library. So let's pretend that I clicked that little red button and now it stopped recording. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my photo library. So I have it in a little folder called photos and music. So I'm going to go to photos and you'll see that I have a lot of different pictures, but one of them's a 22 second video. And so you'll see that it has a long part of the video, but I only want the phrase that says I want to eat apples and bananas. And so what I'm going to go to do is go to edit mode, which is right next to the battery um, and trash button. Um, you click edit in the top right hand corner. And so now what I usually do is I'm going to play the song to figure out where it starts saying that. And the cool thing is you can kind of drag it around and you'll see this little red dot or this little red line. And so that's, you're kind of cutting and pasting this part of the video. So if you only want it to play, from a certain port, part, you kind of like drag it to that part that you'd like. Um, so the first thing I do is let it play and see if this is the part that I wanted. I and so you'll see that that was a lot, so I'm going to make it a little bit shorter.
I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. And I want it to stop at that point, so I'm going to drag it a little bit. And that's how I know it's, it's stopped. So now that's the part of the video that's going to play. Another thing you want to make sure is in the top, um, in the left hand um, area, right? Um, there's a lot of different options. And the last option is crop. So you want to crop the video. Um, just if you weren't in full screen, you want to crop. So it's just the video. And so now that it is cropped, you click done and you can save the video. So now you'll see that this is the only part that's going to play is the part that I'd like. Eat, eat, apples and bananas. And that's the part that you want. So now that that's done, what you're going to do is also make sure you have a picture save that you want. So I already looked up apples and bananas. I really like this specific picture. This is the specific picture that I know my student's going to really recognize. So I click on the picture with my finger and do a long hold and it's going to pop up with options. I'm going to save the image to my image library and that's the one I'm going to use. So now I'm finally get to go to touch chat word power. So where am I going to program this? So I know that the student always uses this when they want to eat. So it's a gestalt related to eating. So I'm going to go to the general eating page. So if I click on eat, eat. Right under eat, there's a blank button, and I think that's a great option for programming this gestalt for them. So I'm going to click the top right hand corner, um, right under the battery, to click menu, and then I'm going to go to edit page, which I'm highlighting right now. And so now the top of the screen is red, meaning that you can edit. So you're going to click on the blank button, and it's going to give you the option to edit this button. And so right now it doesn't have anything, so this is all up to you to create. So the button label, um, you can put, um, you know, apples and bananas, you can put a whole phrase, but for me, I'm going to leave it as just the picture. So I'm going to go to import image. So you go all the way, so you see there's no image. I'm going to click on import image, which I'm highlighting right now, and image library, and you'll see that I saved this. So I'm going to use this picture. So right now, that's the picture that's going to show up. There's not going to be a button label or a message. You totally can put, you know, a message um, but or a label, but you don't have to. It's really dependent on what you want to do for the student. Then you scroll all the way down to button actions. So right now it says speech message. And so that means that when it presses on it, it's going to speak a message. But the message that you typed out, but I didn't type anything out and I don't want it to speak the message. I want it to play my video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, change this um, action. So if you click on speak message, it's going to take you to all these actions that your thing can do. And so I'm going to switch it to play a video. So if you scroll around and you'll say, you'll see that it's going to say play video, which I'm highlighting right now. And I'm going to play a video from my library. And you'll see it shows the video options. So mine's the seven second one. It's going to download. And I'm going to use this. And I'm going to save. So now you'll see that's the image. You click done. So now, when you click on it, it's going to play that piece of the video. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. And then it's when it's done with that piece of the video, it goes back to the full screen. And maybe they might tell you, I want to eat, eat apples and bananas. And eventually, maybe they might tell you, Goldfish crackers. So maybe they're telling you, I want to eat goldfish crackers or eat goldfish crackers, and that's their way of doing it.